Hi everyone, my name is Adam and this is an SCDF exercise codenamed Red Brick. Now in today's exercise, our lifesavers from the second SCDF division will be responding to a simulated large fire incident right here at a facility that deals in aircraft engine maintenance, repair and overhaul. Let's check it out. In today's scenario, a delivery truck makes a routine delivery of ammonium nitrate to a chemical store. At the same time, a refueling truck containing aviation fuel was driving to the same chemical store from the opposite direction. A misjudgment by the two drivers leads to a collision, causing a fire to break out right outside the chemical store. The intense heat from the fire causes the ammonium nitrate on the delivery truck to explode. Ambers and fragments scatter towards a nearby administrative store, causing another fire to break out. This also results in a mass casualty situation, with numerous individuals getting injured. The fire alarm has been activated. The Company Emergency Response Team, or CERT, immediately springs into action, quickly putting on their personal protective equipment and grabbing several fire extinguishers. The team rushes to the fire scene. Upon confirming the fire, the CERT updates the site incident controller on the incident details and SCDF is promptly notified. The CERT starts carrying out an initial emergency response. As the fire is escalating quickly, the CERT team can only put out a small section of the fire with their fire extinguishers before moving in to rescue one of the injured workers. SCDF resources arrive within a few minutes upon receiving the emergency call and link up with the CERT to quickly assess the situation. SCDF is now in command of mitigating this incident. The top priority now is to rescue the remaining casualties. Our firefighters deploy multiple water jets to shield themselves from the heat as they move towards the casualties while another team simultaneously moves in to rescue the casualties to a safer location. To prevent the fire from spreading to other parts of the premises, several vehicle-mounted water monitors and an unmanned firefighting machine are deployed. This operational tactic is called boundary cooling. Now, as all of this is happening, it's very important to set up control points such as this one. These control points help us to manage such large-scale incidents much more effectively. Let me show you some of these control points in play. Now, this is the first aid point managed by our emergency medical services personnel. This is where all the casualties are first brought to be triaged and treated on-site before being conveyed to the hospitals. This is the staging point. It is where our arriving responders report to before entering the high-risk area. The staging point is an important control point as it manages the movement of our responders in and out of the risk area and it also closely tracks the evacuation of casualties. The resource point is where all the critical equipment is consolidated, ready to be deployed. Back at the front line, now that all the casualties have been successfully rescued, it is time to knock out the fire. As the fire largely involves a highly flammable substance of aviation fuel, foam would usually be used to effectively suppress and extinguish it. As this is an exercise, water is used instead. And this brings us to the end of Exercise Red Brick. Now such exercises are important as it allows SCDF to test and validate its operational plans and response procedures, as well as to test the link up between SCDF and the CERT. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button to receive more great content from us. And if you're keen on pursuing a career in the life-saving force, make sure you watch this video and you can watch more of the vocations in the SCDF. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.